Even though they aren't trying to hurt each other, wrestlers do make mistakes and accidents happen. This can unfortunately lead to someone getting seriously hurt or even injured. 2020 was filled with painful botches, so let's look over some of the worst ones. In the build-up to NXT TakeOver 30, Johnny Gargano took on Rich Holland in a North American Championship qualifying match. Thanks to the size difference, Holland was able to manhandle Gargano, which led to a terrifying accident. At one point, Rich Holland went to hit Johnny Gargano with a power slam. However, the move wasn't performed correctly, and Gargano's head came crashing down on the mat. Medical personnel immediately came to check on Johnny, but since the match wasn't airing live, that was completely cut out. After being cleared, Gargano and Ridge continued their match, and Johnny Wrestling picked up the win. The November 30th episode of Raw kicked off with Jeff Hardy and Elias going at it in a Symphony of Destruction match. The ring was surrounded by musical equipment, and as you would expect, a lot of it got destroyed. After Elias accidentally electrocuted himself, Jeff Hardy got the upper hand and set the drifter on a table. To finish off his opponent, the charismatic Enigma got on top of the ring post and hit a swanton bomb. The table was too close to the ring steps though, and Jeff's head hit the steel on the way down. Luckily, it looked like Elias and the table prevented the accident from being much worse. It was also reported after the match that Jeff Hardy wasn't seriously injured. Way back in January, Rey Mysterio and Andrade faced off in a ladder match for the United States Championship. Ladder matches are dangerous already, and this one showed exactly why. When Mysterio went to grab the title, Andrade moved the ladder away, leaving Rey to dangle. It looked like Rey Mysterio was going to try and hit Andrade with a Hurricane Rana, but he instead fell straight down. Thankfully, Rey got up right away, but you could tell the masked luchador wasn't 100%. Mysterio was able to finish the match, even though he ended up losing to Andrade. It was bad enough that WrestleMania this year didn't have any fans in attendance, but it was even worse for Jimmy Uso. Uso competed in a triple threat ladder match along with John Morrison and Kofi Kingston for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Within the first minute of the match, all three men brought ladders into the ring and tried to grab the belts. Morrison tipped Jimmy's ladder over, and the impact from the fall caused Jimmy Uso to tear his ACL. Despite the seriousness of the injury, Jimmy continued to wrestle for another 17 minutes until the bell rang. Unfortunately, while Jimmy has returned to WWE, he has not wrestled since that match. Hopefully we'll see him back in the ring soon. Natalia, Tamina, and Liv Morgan had a huge opportunity when they competed in a triple threat match for a spot on the women's SmackDown Survivor Series team. At the last moment, it was announced the match had become a fatal four-way, with Chelsea Green being added. This was also the Canadian native's debut on SmackDown, but unfortunately, it ended horribly. Less than a minute into the match, Green got kicked off the ring apron by Liv Morgan. When she hit the floor, the impact caused Chelsea to break her left wrist. She didn't do anything for the remainder of the match, most likely because of the injury. Green has undergone surgery, but there's currently no news on when she'll be back in the ring. After making a huge return at the Royal Rumble and defeating his former tag team partner at WrestleMania, Edge agreed to have a rematch against Randy Orton at Backlash. Like all of WWE's shows at the time, Edge and Orton's match was pre-taped. However, to live up to the tagline of greatest wrestling match ever, WWE wanted to reshoot some portions of Edge and Randy Orton's bout. It was during the second round of filming that the Radar Superstar suffered torn triceps. The filming stopped after Edge was injured, and it's reported that WWE cut out the moment the injury happened. However, some fans did notice a concerning bruise on the Canadian wrestler's right arm. It's estimated the tricep tear sidelined Edge for 6-8 to eight months, but hopefully we'll see Edge back in WWE in 2021. At the start of 2020, Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens both had the opportunity to win some gold when they received a Raw Tag Team Championship match against Seth Rollins and Murphy. Things were looking good for KO and the Samoan submission machine until Joe performed a suicide dive. Samoa Joe's head landed hard on the floor and caused him to suffer a concussion. Joe was taken backstage, leaving Kevin Owens to finish the match with Rollins and Murphy. Unsurprisingly, KO lost. Unfortunately, about a month later, Samoa Joe would suffer another head injury while filming a WWE commercial. This forced Joe to take a break from wrestling and transition into being a commentator. Hopefully we'll get to see the Destroyer back in the ring soon. 
feel like I missed some notable injuries from this year, then watch the video on the left on painful WWE botches that happened in 2020. Shout out to ShotSwat's Dreams Ass, and thank you for commenting on our last video. With that, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.